dry, wouldn't you say? I do. This is my passion. <laughs> this is what I love to do, which is design garments that are beautiful. Um, I also like doing accessories and handbags, anything that will, you know, go together and make you feel more beautiful and confident about what you're wearing and how you look. Well, confidence is the word that I see coming from you. Working with Kelly Coutron would be an opportunity of a lifetime, a well-deserved opportunity, but an opportunity of a lifetime. It is the game changer in my life. Kelly Coutron, you want me because I'm the next big fashion designer. I am the next big fashion designer. Okay, today I'd like to discuss my process on how I go about doing my underpaintings. A lot of artists have asked, how do you go about doing your underpainting because you do your work so quickly? Well, I've learned over the years from my restoration background that the old masters did a process called protruto. They would use an egg base with their pigments, and I will show you how that's done here today. First, we wanna crack our egg and extract just the yolk from the egg. Welcome, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and I'm here today with Dr. Alan Goldman, the medical director for iTech Medical. Welcome, Dr. Goldman. Thank you. Well, I'm a medical doctor. I specialize in neurology, and that's the diagnosis and treatment of non-surgical disorders of the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves, and the muscles. I did my neurological residency at UCLA. I stayed on staff there as a professor and then also went into private practice moved down to the University of California, Irvine, and basically practiced there for 27 or 28 years, and most of I am lucky enough to be here with Mr. Robert Fuller. And Mr. Fuller, we're talking about the artist Kenneth M. Freeman, and he is the gentleman who did this wonderful portrait. Is that a fabulous portrait? Yes, it is. You know, I want to say something. You know, I had the great privilege of, of knowing Ken when he was alive. He was not only a great artist, but he was a gentleman and a very, very nice man. And he also was a man. Hey, this is Dr. Rob Streisfeld, Doc Rob. The Feel Good Foodie, the Naturopathic Nomad, your concierge to better living. You know, my philosophy has been learning to live and live well is a lifelong process. So let's check out today's video and see what we could all learn. This is for the hip. Are you living your perfect life? Uh, do you have the perfect family, the perfect career? No? Well, we're here with Tim Levy. He's the author of Life Summit. He combines the principles of attraction showcased in The Secret with his own strategy and structure from his years of experience in big business, you know, places like IBM, Sony, Lucent, and 3Com. 
G'day, my name is Tim Levy. I'm the author of The Life Summit. Something happened that was quite amazing in my life recently. I was booked to speak at the Empowerment Summit, which is happening October 16 and 17 in Toronto, Canada. And the reason it's so amazing is I get to share the stage with really 10 of the most powerful motivational speakers on the planet today, all in the same place at the same time. I'm sharing the stage with people like Les Brown, the number one motivational speaker on the planet. Also, Richard Cohen's going to be there, the producer of The Secret, that movie that really changed the world a couple of years back. There are people there like Savannah Ross and a wealth of other people. I read as a kid. Ah. And it was founded in 1953 by Joe Small oh in goodness. Austin, Texas. And when the Westerns were in their full bloom, mm, uh, in the this, 50s, was, yeah, this was yeah. the magazine I read it. And I used to buy it at Desert Drug in downtown Kingman. <laughs> And I would just read it voraciously every issue because it told the true stories of the American West. Which is the name True West, right? That's right. right. So now we're going to fast forward from the time you were a child. How did you get involved in it then? Because I always think of it as your magazine. Well, thank you. I uh, would see it from time to time as I grew up, went to college, and I would be in a Circle K and I'd see it and it was in decline. Mm. It was still being published on pulp paper. Share his own history.